Hello everybody and welcome back to Knaves World Farm. So in today's episode we're going to be doing some more fertiliser spreading. But don't straight away click off the video because this is going to be fertiliser spreading with a difference. We're going to be using a modded fertiliser spreader. So basically this is one which you can actually fold the canvas back on and then you can use the fertiliser bag mod to uh, fill it up the, the realistic way. Instead of just reversing up to a bag of fertiliser and filling it up that way. So first of all, we're going to just drive into the chickens area just to turn around and we're going to back up to our old fertiliser spreader. I'll open the back window, give us a bit more visibility. And yeah, there's nothing wrong with this one. It's just, it has no animation at all, except for obviously the fertiliser being spread. Uh, which is a bit boring and unrealistic when you're trying to fill the fertiliser through the canvas. So we're going to get this hitched onto the back. We'll put the PTO on anyway, even though we're only selling it. And I've already bought the other one. It was £10,000, so pretty good really. I think it's used, so it's not new. But we don't really need a new one. And when we're up there, we do also need to sort out the John Deere, which has got the conveyor belt on. We need to fold that up and return it to the dealer, because that is rented and we don't really want to go over our rental period as it's going to cost even more money it'll only be about £300 or so but it's still unnecessary looking forward to using this it should be pretty good I just need to master the controls with the fertiliser big bag mod so apparently it does the same thing to a lot of people you know where it goes really berserk um, that seems to be part of the mod I'm guessing it is pretty hard to make a mod like that though for FS15 as there isn't anything like that as standard. Right, drop it from a great height. That is something which is way better with this one we've got here because it's on a pallet and obviously uh, you can lower it down a lot easier. Have a look at it first of all. Same make and everything but it's a bit weathered. It's got a few scratches on. It's definitely used. And it's basically, on overall, it is just going to be a lot more realistic and yeah it's only cost us about £1800 so pretty good really I'm going to back up to it and get it hitched onto the back of here and immediately the pallet does disappear PTO, I think, automatically has connected, but that is fine. Uh, and yes, look, you can see it has uh, it's gone up, so you can fill it up really realistically. You can see the mesh in there as well. So yeah, this should be amazing. So there are controls for it as well. Uh, obviously, we need to well when we when we fold it up, we'll fold it up. So you press X to do that, and that basically closes the lid and keeps it all dry. So we need to shut all the doors and windows. We're going to fill it up. I do need to bring the tractor and trailer back to here again though because uh, basically I had to sell all of our fertilizer bags from before as when it went berserk it, it flicked them across the map which wasn't really ideal. Before we do any of that though we need to just get this folded up and get it returned. It's been very handy. We really couldn't have done this without this. It is a very, very handy mod. And I wish there was something like this as standard in FS. I wonder if there will be in FS17. There are so many possibilities. And we'll put it on Follow Me. We'll have the John Deere and the Marshall trailer heading back to the yard with us. Uh, we'll put it in a shed and then I'll continue. Uh, overdid it there I think brilliant so back into the John Deere hitch onto the Marshall trailer stick it on follow me 
and go from there. So for the time being, I'm going to put this tractor out of the way in here. Obviously we'll stop the John Deere as well. I think I'll switch the engine off actually because it's going to be quite a while before we actually get to work this spreader as we need to fill the trailer up. I'm not going to go crazy with the amount of bags we have because these accidents do happen with this big bag mod and they can go flying so got to be a bit careful. I think we'll just put this in the shed over here where the spreader came from. Yeah, that header is so annoying. It keeps flipping off. I promise next time we do a harvest, I'll get it sorted out. Because just to get it on there, I need to get all the dominator out and everything and bring it back to the yard. I think the best machine for the job might be our... Well, I don't know if the telehandler can actually fit to that trailer. If it can, it'd be very good. But I'm not too sure. I might risk it. We'll give it a go. We'll drop the bucket off here. As we definitely don't need that today. And I need to go and get the fertiliser trailer. Well, I call it the fertiliser trailer, but basically... It's just the bale trailer, standard bale trailer. What I've done is I've put it in a field far away from here because it requires such a big turning circle that the yard isn't really the place for it. I think actually I've put it in a, in a neighbour's field. They probably won't appreciate it. We, we probably should buy the field actually. Not a bad idea. Yeah, let's buy field number three. It's a good storage field, if nothing else. And it comes complete with mud. It's only £8,000. Let's go for it. So this might not actually attach, but it's worth a go. In real life, pretty sure it would do. And luckily, it does here as well. So let's head to the store get a few bags loaded up and we're going to have to get the front loader attachment or the telehandler attachment for the big bag mod. Uh, I did buy the tractor one, uh, but yeah, oh no, it's deep. Come on four wheel drive, you can do it. We don't want to dig ourselves deeper, which is exactly what I'm doing. Uh, making everything really muddy here. Come on, Difflock. Come on, Difflock, you can do it. Nothing like a bit of mudding. We're free. Well, that certainly made this setup dirty. Wow. I think it does make it dirty a bit too quickly, but it must be pretty hard to set up, you know, that kind of thing. And as I haven't tried it before, I don't actually know, but it might be the case that the bags handle a lot better on a telehandler, but I'm not sure. I was really stupid in last week's episode. Basically, but I'll show you when we get to the store. Yeah, basically, there are two different attachments for the big bag mod, and you've got to get the right one for the machine. And if we go into the mod section, and I can't remember where it is, I don't think, it, no, it's not in telehandlers. It's probably in fertilizer. No, it's not, okay. Uh, this might go on for a bit. Miscellaneous? Yes, I think it possibly is, no. Front loaders, let's try here. Yes, here we go. So we've got F and T, uh, because the rest is cut off. Now I said F is probably for front loader, 
and I didn't know what tea was. And then most people said it's for telehandler. Why didn't I think of that? Isn't it obvious? Well, we're going to put that to uh, its test. We're going to buy it and see if it does fit to the telehandler because it definitely did not fit to the front loader. So here is the moment of... Oh, I've put that in the way. Here is the moment of truth. Let's just spin this around a bit. Now, I think probably we're only going to go with about three or four bags because otherwise it's just going to be way too much. But if this can handle it properly, it'll go really well. Now, call me slow and stuff. All we're doing is fertilising a field because it's gone for the one we already had. Uh, but I just find that this process is a lot better. Yeah, it does fit. So, thank you, everyone. I'm a fool for thinking that... Well, for not even thinking that at all, actually. I didn't even think of it. That's crazy. Uh, F for front loader, T for telehandler. It seems so obvious. Right, so we're going to go with um, buying the big bag mod. Or the big bags. We need to go with um, these ones here. You can also do it with seed. Fertilizer is cheaper, amazingly. Uh, but let's just go for four. Hopefully, I'll be able to do this. Love the way they all just spawn together there. Now, what I'm going to do is save the game because... This has gone horrendously in the past with me before. I've tested it before. I tested it before last time's video. Um, I made a mess of it then, and I made a mess of it in the video. So, not really looking too good for today's video, but it's definitely worth another attempt. Because it is such a good mod. I think for what you could actually do with FS15, this is as good as it could get. Mm, so, no berserkness yet. I'd love to pick two up in one go, that would be really good. Okay, that should be good there. Pretty good. I think we should stick with the telehandler, it's much better than the front loader. It's probably driving many of you crazy watching this thing being so dirty. If I can get two, this might be. Uh, in fact, this is it. Oh, burst the bag. This this will be a true test to see if it can uh, do it without going berserk. Let's just give it a go here. Yeah, that seems to be working fine. It's really good that. So it is. It's just the front loader which couldn't manage it for some reason. Not too sure why. But yeah, it couldn't do. I've really messed that up. I should have put one on the other side first. Oh, it jumped a bit there, but it might have been clipping the trailer. But either way, it's already way better. Don't flick the bags. Don't flick the bags. Yes, as I was saying, it is still much better than it is with the front loader. Don't even think of it. Yes, you get on there. Fighting with fertilizer bags. I don't know what it is that does that. I, I really don't. I wonder if there is a fix for it. I think we're going to put this over the other side. It might be if you go too fast. I really don't know. Right. They tend to travel quite well. So I'm not really too worried about them on the road. They should be fine. There is one at the front which is wobbling a bit, but I can almost guarantee it will stay there. They are very good. Doing okay, it's hanging on. It doesn't look good. I wish I could reposition it, but I daren't. Because we're going to lose everything. So here we are back at the yard. What I'm going to do is put the trailer just here. We are going to have to kind of temporarily block the road, uh, but we should be okay. It's not ideal, but it will work. And then we're going to get into the fence, which I think I turned the engine off on. Yeah, good. 
beginning to worry there. I try not to smash the door off. And then I'm hoping if I can well fill this up in the road, that'd be great. Yeah, that should be good. So yeah, let's uh, just hop out of the tractor, get back into the telehandler, and we know which one we're going to do first. That is pretty obvious. It actually did creep back on quite a bit, so not really much chance of losing it. But I'm going to have to get this at a good angle, otherwise it's going to go berserk again. And what I would love to do is put two in in one go. It might take me a while to get it set up, but I'm going to do it. Even if it takes an hour. There's one. And the second one. It's just here. Let's just extend the boom a bit. This bag really kicked off. But I'm doing two in one go. I should probably save the game again actually, I think I might do. So keeping those times straight. One through each bag. I've got one, and there's the other one. I have got to do a screenshot of this. I have to. Got to keep those tines straight. And there we go, we've got it above there. I am really happy with that. Now what we have to do is accept the load. So, I uh, can't remember if you did it from in the tractor or if you did it from in the telehandler. Uh, I will just have to double check that. Yes, you do it from the telehandler. You press B. And basically, if I just lift it a bit higher. Push my luck here a bit, but yeah, let's uh, refill. There's the first one. And the second one, we might just have to reposition. There we go. I'm trying not to put too much on the road. It was going so well. But you get the idea. This is this is almost perfect. I think, actually, I, I think I have a theory as to why the bags sometimes just go mad. And I think it's if you tilt the tines. They really don't want the tines being tilted. Which is obviously what happened here <laughs> when I was picking it off the trailer. Gonna have to sort this out, I think. One of the bags is upside down, so it's not really going too well. Uh, bear with me, I'll just uh, stop the recording and sort this out. I love the big bag mod. I can make a song about this mod. Yeah. A song about the big bag mod. I don't think it'd be a, a big hit really. Right, I've got the trailer on the back. This is well I've just had to reset it because it was it was all messed up. So we're gonna go and just put this over here. No, no, no. I know what I said. Keep the time straight. Okay, so with that all out of the way, we can concentrate on picking up this one and loading it up into the spreader. Try my best. Seems to have uh, gone for the center, this one, but it might work better. Who knows? Right, let's not tilt it too much. And again, that's going in. Seems to be taking a lot. I thought they usually only took two bags, but 
Hmm, maybe this one is just a very high capacity spreader. It does actually look to be quite a big one. Dump that there. And, well, the final one I think we're going to have to reset. But let's just go and spread this for now because we've been uh, doing this for a while. Not sure how full it is. 55%. Wow, that means it's going to take... What's going to... About five, five, six bag loads. That's quite impressive. Not sure if that is entirely realistic, but we don't really have too much land to do. We have got to do fin number eight and possibly fin number nine. It's unfortunate that this field is the reset point because obviously whenever you reset something, uh, it totally crushes the crops. That's much better. Row crop tires. Yeah, I almost forgot, and that's the whole reason I bought the tractor. This is NPK that we're spreading onto the field at the moment. And this should help improve the quality. Uh, rain is forecast, so that is good. It means the nutrients will be going up. The, uh, the moisture, sorry. The moisture isn't actually too bad anyway. So, um, yeah, we don't want too much rain. You can really overdo it. So that is field number 8 done. Very quick. It's not a big field though. And now for field number 9. We are actually putting the first tram lines in the field. And this should show up on the... Well, you know, the on the information page here. The map view. Yeah, there you go. You can see we've just done field number 8. Fill number 10 I drove on a bit too much, fill number 9 I'm going to be a bit more careful with. It's just sort of guessing the width of this spreader. We really don't want to miss anything. It does make it harder though because we've got like the, uh, the grass verge here. And then some of that is actually the field, so it's a bit tougher. But you can already see the amount that it is actually destroying is dramatically decreased from what that field is. You can still clearly see it's a tram line, but yeah, we're going to still have a lot more crop at the end of this. Mm. I don't know if it's throwing it right to the edge, but it's not too bad. Go and cab view. I think we are going to have to go up the center as well, but as it's not really destroying much, it doesn't really matter. And yeah, we're going to lose some crops, but making sure it's the right nutrients is much more important. So I'm really hoping that you are enjoying these videos. I know I do kind of repeat the jobs quite a bit, but this is because we're running slow mod. I have to. So I'm just trying to find new ways, more realistic ways of doing it. Again, I just want to say I'm not a farmer. Never worked on a farm properly. Uh, so yeah, there are going to be things, obviously, which I don't really know about too much. So I'm going to do a few things wrong. But that is why I've got real farmers watching me to keep me on the right track. Like just there. Maybe you shouldn't have turned like that. I'm not too sure. But very impressed with the uh, the crop destruction. That is perfect. And I think, although yeah, when you first see these these tyres, these wheels, they look a bit ugly. But I actually think when it's got the spreader on, it looks pretty good. It's like a really sporty version of the Fent 512C. It's sports tractor. And luckily, we do have enough. So, on this view, yeah, it's not half as obvious that we have destroyed as much crop as in field number 10. Now, next time, when we come in here with the sprayer, we're obviously going to have to be very careful, and we're going to have to follow the exact same path. Otherwise, 
I am going to make it just as bad. Uh, but certainly, that is pretty good. This will also be our spraying tractor, unless I eventually get a self-propelled sprayer. That will automatically have the row crop tyres on anyway. Either way, it doesn't really matter. I don't think we'll get a self-propelled one on here. We will on Thornton Farm. But this map isn't really big enough. But yeah, that is uh, it for us today. Actually, I probably should just go up that side once more because we've got 4% left and I would love to wash the spreader out. Keep it realistic. Because as you probably know, fertiliser is very corrosive. Should wash it out after use. It's more tram lines than what I'd have hoped, but yeah, it, it needs to be done. Okay, so just to complete that, we'll go up to the top. And we'll link up with this one. So the final job of today will be to go back to the yard, pressure wash the spreader out so it doesn't rot and we'll call it a day. We haven't done much I know but it was fun nonetheless. I think I put the pressure washer here somewhere. Yes there it is. So we'll put the tractor here for today. Get it unfolded I'll turn the engine off because we don't actually need it at all. And yeah, let's jump out. Shut the door. Ah, I have um, hit a problem. It should still lower without the engine. There we go. get all of that corrosive material out of here. Wash it through and that will extend the life. So, thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. We will be returning to Nasal Farm next week for more. And yeah, I don't know what we're going to be doing yet, but um, I'll have to think of something. Maybe you can give me a few suggestions, it would be greatly appreciated. But yeah, until then, thanks again, and hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.